Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Liu Chen, love a taste out. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the different types of bags for guys. This would be a really helpful video for you guys out there looking for different types of bags, whether it is from duffel bag to backpack to a bag that you need for work. Here's the video where I'm gonna break down all the bags that I have. Number one is the duffel bag. Duffel bag is a no brainer. I probably use this style of bag the most, especially for my travels. I always have one as my carry on. So I'm gonna quickly go over the different types of duffel bags that I have so that I can give you some idea what you might like. First one here that I have is this new one that I got. This is from Gucci and it's got black leather and it has like the Gucci uh, pattern up in the front and on the side and it's made in Italy. So the material is really, really nice. I haven't really gotten to use this yet, but I really like the contrast between like the pattern, which is kind of subtle from far away. So it kind of looks like an all black bag and the strap here is a little different. It has the navy blue and red, the classic Gucci webbing color, really good size for a uh, carry on type of bag, especially if you want to use it also for like a weekend trip. Next is the Louis Vuitton Keep All. This is probably one of the most iconic duffel bags from Louis Vuitton. Um, this one, it's got like the brown color and the lighter brown leather on it. So I like this, it's really classic. The good thing about the designer bags is that it does hold its value. So if you do end up investing in one, it does last for a long time. The quality is great. And chances are when you want to sell it, it's gonna have some good value, a good resale value. Next is this brown leather duffel bag from Coach. I've had this for a long time now. Designer bags might not be for everyone. So if you want something that just looks good, that's not screaming for attention, that you can't tell what brand it is, I think Coach makes really good ones. So this is a good example. I also have this in black. Next is this camo duffel bag. Now, to be honest, of the ones I show you guys so far, this is the one I actually use the most. This one, I don't have to worry about it. This is like all canvas, uh, cotton material. I think they actually use the camo material from the jackets. They kind of repurposed it. And it's also really big in size. So in comparison to the leather ones, because they're leather, um, they usually are more stiff. They look great, but the space is not as much because the leather usually gives it a lot more structure. Whereas this is like, I can stuff so much stuff in this bag. And if the airplane overhead is smaller, I can just shove this together. I can move this around. So I like these kinds of bag. It all depends on the trip I'm going on. If I need to put a lot of stuff in a bag like this, this is the one that I usually use the most. So we have the Weekender bag. It's a little bit smaller than the duffel bags. This one to me is exactly what you think just for the weekend two to three days, a long weekend trip, a little road trip. Weekender bags that I tend to have, they don't have straps. So it's kind of like really just pack in what I need for a short trip. So, um, and it doesn't require a strap where I can like carry it. Uh, I just need to just kind of grab it, throw it in the car. This one specifically, it's like a flight bag. Um, this one I got as a gift from the IWC watch brand. But to me, this is like a perfect weekender bag. Not too big, you know. Maybe like a pair of shoes, one pair of jeans, some shirts, a sweater, um, and boom. And that is kind of all you need. You throw in the trunk of your car and you're good to go. This leather bag here is from Bali and I got this a few years ago and I love the tumble leather, pebble leather look to it. It's really nice and classy. And then it's got like their colors, the maroon and the beige zipper part here in the middle. I don't have a strap. You can't fit that much stuff in it, but I think it's like, again, like a perfect little weekend getaway trip type of bag. This one here is a L.O. Bean bag. This one I got from GQ. And um, this one I like a lot because it's actually like weatherproof. So on the inside, it's like lined with like a rubber. So it's really good for the weather. So you don't have to worry if it's gonna be raining, if the bag is gonna get wet. And also this one has like a nice zipper up at the top. So you can fit a lot in this. Um, this is also to me more so of a tote bag, but you can definitely use this like a weekender bag. All right, next up we have the work bag. These are like the classic briefcase. And if you guys didn't know, I used to work in finance. I used to work at Morgan Stanley and Barclays Bank. So I actually use these a lot for work. This one specifically, I bought this easily eight years ago. I think this is like a really good overall all around work bag, especially something that's not like super professional, something that's like casual, you can use 
if you work in like more of a creative feel, if you work in tech, if you want to have a bag that you can also use on the weekend. So this bag here is from the brand Filson and they've been around since 1897. Really popular, iconic brand. They've been selling these bags uh, for years now at like Nordstrom, Brooks Brothers. And I like this color because it's a nice like neutral color you can wear with a lot of things. It's got this like beige color with dark brown leather materials in between kind of bag where it's a nice structure, good looking uh, briefcase type of bag but also casual enough depending on where you work and that you can use it on the weekend. Next is a more professional route. This is a black pebble leather briefcase style bag and uh, they got the zipper in the middle here. The inside is not really meant to fit that much. Usually it's like a laptop, tablet, iPad, phone, you know, stuff that you need for work. This bag really, I only use it when I'm wearing a suit, really just complete the full professional look. All right, so next up we got the backpack and I really like these so much. I have them in both colors, in the brown and the black. Let me just go over this one. This is also from Coach and I really love the style of this. It's got kind of like a retro style look, but in a really nice shape and the leather is so stylish. I think this lighter brown leather looks really nice. Uh, and then you have these like darker brown parts to complement the whole bag. You can fit a lot of stuff. So what I've done in the past with these backpack, I, I'll throw my camera in there. Uh, I'll throw some clothes in there and then you can kind of tighten it up at the top here and then you can strap it down in the front for extra safety. And then you got like a quick release up in the front to grab something that you need. Um, overall, really, really stylish. Um, I think if you're really into backpacks, a leather backpack can really up your style game. They're not that comfortable to wear all day just because look at the strap, it's like a leather strap. So they don't have a lot of cushions. So you really, it's more like a cool style piece. Um, they're not really for comfort. <laughs> you know, you can't really wear this all day. Next one is the tech backpack. So this one here of all the bags that I have, I think this is the one that I use the most by far. I bring this bag with me on almost every single trip. And that's because as a content creator, influencer, my tech stuff is the most important thing. This one here is the in-case backpack and I highly recommend this to absolutely anyone, especially if you're creative. Number one, there's a lot of different quick access zippers. Um, the one thing I really love is like this middle part here. You can quickly zip this down and get to your laptop. So when you're at the airport, TSA checking, you can quickly take your laptop out. Versus in the past, I used to have the backpack. I have to like unstrap the thing, unhook it, take out this, and then all this stuff might fall out. This open the top quick and easy, super nice. And there's cushion everywhere. In the front top here, there's a small pocket. This is where I like to keep my headphone because you need your headphone when you're trying to watch a movie or something. So I can quickly grab that out instead of trying to go through the whole bag looking for it. Nice to have a quick access at the top for other things I need like a mask or chapstick or something that I need really quick. This is the inside part, the majority of the back part here. This is where I keep my camera. So this is also a quick access at the top here. I can just take my camera out, my DSLR. On the inside here, that's where I can put the different lens and chargers, uh, all the different kind of gadgets that I need for the trip. Sometimes I can put my tripod in here, my gimbal, a drone I've put in the past. It's comfortable, it doesn't hurt my back. It's got so much cushion, so much support. And I've had this bag for easily four years, five years now and it's not dirty, it's not ripped. Everything is still really good condition. All right, next I have some cross body bag. So you kind of notice the bags keep getting smaller and smaller. This one here is the leather Valentino. And uh, I really like this because it's kind of big. It's actually kind of wide and I can fit like a whole gimbal in here. Designer items do hold a value. So if you want to invest in something, you can definitely resell this and get a good amount of money back. Leather tend to dress up the outfit a lot more, gives them more of a luxury look. I think other crossbody bags are usually like nylon, very casual material. So that I think makes the outfit a little bit more casual. This, even if I'm wearing sneakers, a whole sweatsuit, 
I think it dresses up the outfit. And I, I also like that it's black and white, nice and clean, minimal. You can wear this with like everything. Definitely check out brands like Zara. I know like designer bags can get so expensive and the trends come and go. So when you check out Zara, you can get a similar look for a, just a fraction of the budget. I think this one was only like 50, 60 bucks. Um, it still has that like leather look. And I think this is copying like one of the designers. Last but not least is the gym bag. So this one here is my Nike bag. It's a good size. You can also use this as kind of like a travel bag, a weekend during kind of bag. This one I specifically use for my boxing classes. So I have like my boxing gloves in here and I always go with my girlfriend. So I have, I can fit two pairs of boxing gloves in here and water bottle wraps. Another really nice gym bag that I have is this Lululemon. It's a nice like black duffel bag, very nice and spacious. And some of these gym bags, they also have like a side pocket that you can put your shoes in here. Um, that way it separates from the rest of your stuff. A stylish gym bag, you can easily use this as your duffel bag option if you don't want a designer bag. All right, there have you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on all the different styles of bags for guys. I want to show you guys all the different options that I have so that you have a better idea of what you should be getting for yourself. Try to include all the links in the video description below so you can definitely check out similar items to this. Like there's different price options and different materials that you guys might enjoy for yourself.